I assumed. Okay, I'm gonna play along and still keep doing, doing. I assumed that you'd be more subtle, a little bit more coy if you wanted to steal this thing. But honestly, you're just gonna come in, ransom all of us, and just take it and leave like a bunch of brutes? Holy uh, shit! I thought we were dealing with someone who was a little bit smarter. At, at that point, um, the dar the drow elf has actually stopped following you because he's going back towards here, um, and the. One who still remains in the full armor holding the Baroness laughs and says, I'm not here for the stone. I'm here for them and points directly to you and removes her helmet. Uh, Wait, who are you pointed at Finn? Uh, <laughs> and uh, hang on a second. Gosh darn it. Move to see, layer. See, I had a feeling. I had a feeling. Uh, and Finn, you see oh, Finn. Follette standing there in full armor and looking at you with eyes of pure hatred. Finn's gonna slowly stand up and... And then uh. she, she, uh, and, uh, she roughly uh, brings the Baroness over here as she, as she uh, continues to talk and uh, throws the Baroness to the Dark Elf and then turns to you and says, Finn! It's been what? so long, my friend. What are you doing? Finn is legitimately shocked right now, and so is Kriana. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, tell the shock! She, uh, uh, and, and, and she says, Ah, that all in time. First things first. Boys... And uh, at that moment, the orcs and the halflings proceed to go down the line of guards and slit their throats. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Blood is being spilled. Okay, stop, stop. What are you... Stop. And she turns to you with a glare and says, Shut up. This isn't like you. It's not like me. What do you know? Oh, crazy little Finn. Brave little Finn. Did you ever tell them who you are? No? Well, the whole world should know. And she pries her eyes open and says, Everyone, this is Finn, the hero of the Wood Elves. The one that opened the gate. That's right. And she starts, like, marching kind of back and forth, like, reveling in the story. And she says, that's right. Did no one ever wonder how the Wood Elves were able to overpower such an overwhelming force? The gates were opened by her. Oh, I'm sorry. That's right. You're going as a boy now, aren't you? Oh, did I just ruin that other secret, too? <laughs> this... <laughs> And and this, this this everything is almost like she's almost spitting the words out. This filth called herself my friend. But she opened the gates for the wood elf scum without any consideration for who that would hurt. Did you never stop to think what would happen when you ran away, little Finn? Who they would blame? Who the high elves would consider your accomplice? Me, your friend, the one that always stood up for you, your commanding officer. I was made I a scapegoat. No, no, you didn't, because you never stopped to think of these things, do you? Crazy little Finn has to go have her way, opening the gate and then leaving me high and dry to be hung by my own people. I never wanted you to get hurt. <laughs> she laughs bitterly. Right. You even cared about me. And by the way, the, the, the rest of the guards are dead by now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, by yeah. the way, there's this guy here. I forgot to move him. They're, 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 all, yep. they're all dead. Your, your, yeah. your weapons, by the way, are over here somewhere. Um, yeah. And, uh, and she goes on. She says, I had to run from my own people who wanted to hang me because they couldn't find you. So I gave my life a new purpose, ending yours. And my family, being rather rich as you know, and me being able to abscond with their fortunes, allowed me to put together quite the group of, well, individuals, and she points to the people around her, meet Imera Cavanground, the infamous thief. And the entire oh. group takes a bow. Oh. Oh. 
And she, she continues and she says, but I couldn't find you, even with their help, trying to track you down to give you your just desserts to hang you by your neck. And then I remembered, you kept going on about some old codger, some uncle or something. He was easy enough to track down. Don't. Oh, what's the matter, Finn? And she actually comes up to you. Scared? Oh, don't worry. Your precious little uncle is fine. And she walks back over here and she actually uh, puts her arm around the arm of uh, this orc and says, Believe it or not, the old codger actually was unwilling to tell us where you went, but luckily Bruiser here is, is a wizard with a hammer. Oh. Uh, I am afraid, though, I don't think your uncle will be walking anymore. Oh, well, at least we found you, didn't we? Well, we found what direction you went. I was still having a horrible time tracking you down. Imagine my surprise to find you standing in my hideout. Squeak, can I interrupt you for a second? Yes, you can. Okay. You said that the doors didn't look like they... Were locked, no. Finn's gonna say... If you want me, then come on and get me. And he's going to run, or she, I guess I don't have to say he anymore, is going to run <laughs> out the door. Like you're running towards the door? Run towards the door and try and bust it open. All right. Um, we'll see you get to about there. And then, uh, all right, you know what? We're going to do an opposed check. Okay. You're going to roll a d20 uh, and okay. add your dexterity. And she is going to roll a d20 and add her dexterity. Four. Uh, and your level, of course, sorry. Oh, and two? Parkour or no? Yeah, actually, add your parkour. Yeah, jump on top of the tables. Yeah. Be awesome. Slide yeah. underneath them. Okay. Do cool shit. Alright. Alright. Let's do this. Hang on a second. Okay. Roll yours. I'll roll mine. Ah! Jesus. <laughs> oh, no! Um, and, and to, then and to, to, to be absolutely fair, uh, her stats are just a little bit higher than, um, than Finn's. They used I to parkour together. So, I know so roll yeah. higher. yeah, you got here when she actually runs into you and very brutally knocks you this direction. Hmm. Um, and then points her daggers at you and says, sit down. No, Finn's going to stand up. This isn't like you. This isn't the person I knew. And then she laughs again. No. No, it's not. It's not the person you knew at all. Uh, well, sorry. I mm -hmm. didn't mean to interrupt, but can Pearson quickly take a look at that fucking dark elf? And sure. just kind of get the look of, when's the right time, dude? <laughs> and, and the dark elf, the dark elf who's actually uh, behind everyone, like, gently holds his hands up. Like, mm -hmm. And, um... Like, hold his hands up, like, just wait a second? Yeah, just of? wait. Just wait. Okay. And, right. uh, and, and, uh, Fillette is Bruiser, and Bruiser comes over here, drag her ass back over there, and, um, unless... Finn's gonna push away. Okay. Uh, do me another opposed roll check with strength. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. The mighty Finn. The Must mighty go. Finn. <laughs> oh my god! Oh! Yes! Oh, snap. Beat the orc! Oh shit! Okay, you, you push and away. That was the day, children, when your mother killed an orc with her fists. <laughs> with her pinky toe. Alright, uh, you actually push away from the orc, and he actually stumbles and falls to one leg. Uh, what do you want to do? She's gonna look to Follette and be like, "You can stop this. No one has to get hurt." Well, no one else. Follette, Follette, <laughs> Follette, oh, Follette, yeah. Follette uh, s s starts to look at you, and then gets an evil glint in her eye and says, "Tell you what, Finn, you don't want a reunion. There's the door. You're welcome to leave, but understand that if you do, I will be murdering every aristocrat in this room." I don't have any intentions. Finn looks down. Just don't hurt anyone else. Oh. Now you start to care. And then, um, Bruiser, who looks rather upset, gets up and looks like he's about ready to hit Finn. And, uh, what's her face over here? Follette actually calms him down and says, no, 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 put her back with the others. And search them. 
So these guys start coming over here. God, why do I keep grabbing the guards? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Dead, bodies <laughs> Dead bodies start <laughs> coming. Um, so the halflings. Gosh darn it. All right. The halflings start coming to search uh, oh, Keen. Oh, they'd rather search me. Uh, uh-huh. And then um, the that girl starts oh, wait, searching no, this you. this is sexy pants. Okay. Yeah, it's yeah, sexy sure. pants. Yeah. Uh, and, she, and she actually says something. She's carrying a whip in her hand. She's like, oh, you're a strong one, aren't you? She starts to um, search you. And then as the dark elf searches Cole, as he's searching you, Cole, he, he very quietly says, I want to stop this. Please work with me. But he says it very, very quietly. Uh, I want to slight roll. Uh, I want a little role play here with the cutie but to the as she mm -hmm. searches me and she's not going to find <laughs> anything. Uh, In him worth. front of your lover? <laughs> yeah, I don't care. I, I'm 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 a multi I'm an onion of sexual intrigue. <laughs> but uh, Cullenworth is going to simply he's going to say matter of factly. Uh, you're too pretty to mess up. I suggest that you get out of here, or I will kill you. She looks at you seriously and then grins and she's like, oh, I like you. And then she starts uh, feeling you a little bit more roughly. Uh, oh, and while she, yeah, and while she's doing that, uh, I have a question, Cole. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, this is for <laughs> you. Um, w this entire time when Finn was running, when she was uh, try uh, hit to the ground and trying to get away from the orc, have you reacted at all? No, not really. Okay. <laughs> it, it is. It has been fairly stoic, uh, just keeping my eye on the situation, but nothing that seems to look like um, there's really. It doesn't look like he is worried about the situation. Okay. Um, the orc uh, starts uh, <laughs> leading Finn back over here and roughly searching her do when Unless we get you, to a certain mm -hmm. point mm -hmm. far away from crazy fillet can i try and reach down my boot and pull out the dagger and stab this motherfucker in the neck you may sure as hell try yes okay i would like to try yes okay um how would we do that tell you what i'm gonna make that a dexterity roll Okay. If you can succeed in the dexterity roll, then you can roll to hit. Okay, so just the same as before, 1d20 plus 11? Mm-hmm. Fuck! Okay. Uh, you reach for your dagger, and you actually get it out, and you slash him across the arm, but the time it took you to do it is all he needs to grab you by the wrist. So you did hurt him. Mm -hmm. And uh, he grabs you by the wrist, and uh, he is going to backhand you. Ouch. So hang on a second. Uh, I'm going to... He's just going to roll to attack, but I'm going to give him a plus because he does have you by the wrist. Mm -hmm. So there's that. Uh, what's your AC? Uh, higher than that. Okay, uh, then he, he you, you, you managed to dodge his swipe. Um, but he, he after he dodges, he, he growls angrily and then shoves you towards Pearson. Okay. So over that way. Finn will not make any eye contact with Pearson. <laughs> yeah, FYI. probably a good call. Yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah they start. Questions. <laughs> after, after they're searching you, they, they begin to also search everyone else. Um, the halflings move on. The dark elf seems to be taking a lot of time with Cole. And, and he says very quietly, I will make it go dark again. You have to, to defeat these people. Um... And with that, he is going to um, change his gaze to his gaze. Um, I'm going to try to do a judge of character with this. <laughs> okay. Um, you see, as, as, as far as you can tell, he looks as open and honest as he possibly can. He also looks very nervous. And... Um, he will then move his, uh, no, he won't actually move his gaze away, and, um, uh, let's see, how is he searching me, by the way? Um, he's actually making a farce of it right now. He's just making it look like he's searching your pockets and stuff. Um, on my left side, I'm going to make a, um, a, a hand gesture. So it's basically 
he's the only one who's facing me, so he'd mm-hmm. only be able to see my left side. Mm-hmm. So I'm I'm going to give a a small sign that I I understand. <laughs> okay, he he sighs quietly and then continues on down the room to search others. Um, at this point, Philette has moved back to the center of the room. <clears throat> and she's still her, her her concern is not with the the, the rift gym at all. Her, she's still looking right at Finn, and she says, "Do you know how badly I wanted to make you suffer? I lost everything because of you, my honor, my position, the wood elves that were in their rightful place." You know we didn't belong there. We were where we should have been. They were better with us Bullshit. there. Bullshit! Finn is now looking super pissed. <laughs> You never could understand. You You're couldn't right. understand any of it. But I, I have couldn't. you now. And she pulls out a purple stone. Oh, uh, no. Of course. And she says, do you know what this is? Yep. I bought this specially for you. It is a gem that will grant me any wish I want. How should I use it, Finn? Tell me, how do you picture your end? Don't say bottom of the sea. That doesn't. Work <laughs> Don't well. say bottom of the sea. <laughs> Don't say bottom of the sea. <laughs> Shall I just use it to kill everyone in the room is, first? Maybe I'll do that and is, then take my time. With it, you. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hold mm-hmm. on, hold on. Yeah, go is ahead. Anyone holding? Is this motherfucker holding me down, or am I just? No, sitting he's here? he's 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 about where he shoved you away. He's actually looking at Cole this whole time. He seems very interested in the other orc in the room. Finn's gonna once again okay. try and bolt at her. Uh, okay, as you bolted her, she'll uh, hold the stone up and say, ah, 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 one word, and everyone dies. Now, oh. you, it's your choice. You can keep going for her. Then we'll stop midway through and just kind of stand in place, I guess. <laughs> and just stare at her, just glaring. And she will laugh. She's like, oh, I am enjoying this. And she's like, bruiser. Bruise her. No. Oh. oh, sorry, sorry. Mm. I, I was muted because I was eating pizza. Uh, oh, <laughs> yes, yes. Sorry. By all means. <laughs> I was just hoping I could interject, especially during the silent staring there for a moment. Mm-hmm. Cullimore just wants to pipe out. Uh, you know, using that gem is gonna kill you, right? You crazy bitch. She. <laughs> <laughs> she looks at you with her eyebrow raised. She's like, you know of these stones? Mm-hmm. Oh, very much so. She looks at it, she goes, so it would kill me. Mm-hmm. Well, see, there's one thing you could do to prevent it, but it requires a bit of a magic altar. If you spare my life, I'll show you where it is. She looks around. Um, she actually seems a little hesitant, and then kind of closes her fist around it and then kind of puts it back in her pocket and she says, well, maybe I'll just kill you the conventional way. Uh, And she puts it in her pocket and her belt and she says, Bruiser, Bruiser. (laughs) (laughs) And uh, strangely, Cole, this entire time, the orc doesn't stop looking at you and he walks over to Finn and um, unless, Finn, you try to dodge or move or something, he's going to smack you. Um, Finn will probably not move. He's probably not paying too much attention to this guy. Okay. Um, so, believe it or not, still with his eyes focused on the only other orc in the room, he grins as he smacks Finn, and you take three points of damage. Okay. Um, and at this point... If this is a staring contest, I'm gonna win. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, go ahead, Pearson. I would yes. like to say, mm-hmm. you hit her one more time and I will feed you your fucking teeth, you goddamn ape. And she begins to respond with something and all of a sudden their room goes black again. Good! Let's do it! Roll initiative! Let's fucking <laughs> yes. end these fuckers! Keen is going to sneeze three fucking times. <laughs> <laughs> that was the agreed on fucking signal, oh, okay? <laughs> Okay, I've rolled for initiative, everyone. Oh, God dang it. Let me get rid of these. (laughs) Escalation, you're going to zero. 
I said zero escalation. Okay. All right. Five. Uh, hmm? change that I to a seven. Two, Twenty. Pick the highest. Change that to a seven. Yeah. All right. Uh, let me. Anyone else? Let me know if you need to change yours as well. Yeah, I just gotta double check my initiative modifier. All right. So is plus two. Right, so we're sucks. gonna do. Oh, hang on a second. <laughs> ah. Oh God. What did oh, I do? What did I do? I got oh, two. Oh, nice. Pelamore's gonna kick some ass. All right. Let's so, do. Give me just two seconds. I gotta. I guess technically make my macro here, and then change it to twenty. Yeah. Not four. Let dummy. There we go. Bruiser. Um, for for like the the initiative when I click on my character, how do I change that? Uh, you should be able to click on the number and then adjust it. If you can't, then something's not working right. Hello. All right, so <laughs> I got to roll for each of them. So fillet is. Hang on. Uh, da, 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 da. Sixteen. I'm sorry. What? What piff? I'm gonna ask about it later. Don't mind me. Oh, okay. Bruiser is seventeen. Uh, the twins are twenty-seven. Jesus. All right. And Violet is eight. <laughs> Violet is slow. All right, um, let me go ahead and uh, put everything in the right order. Descending. Okay. Um, so the twins go first. It is dark, so again, it is difficult for everyone to kind of uh, figure out what they're doing. The twins, since they're closest <coughs> to Keen, they're going to attempt to um, kind of cut off Keen. I'm going to basically do the same thing I had you guys do, which is roll a dex just to get in the way of Keen. Kind of see if they can find him, even. Um, okay. Let's see. And I have tracking. You do have tracking. Mm. Well, yes. Hmm. I'm curious how to do that, then. An opposed check? That seems fair. He's trying to be avoid being detected. You know what? No, here's what we're going to, to do. Him. Since it's dark, we're going to give everyone one, like last time, one action, and then when the lights come back on, this is the, the torn orders that will be taken. That seems the fairest way to do this. Yes. So I'll, I'll let you guys um, go ahead and tell us what you want to do. Um, unless one of you guys, if you guys think that is an unfair way to do it. No, I think it's fair. No, I'm, I'm, I've, I've been itching to go and get my goddamn bow this entire goddamn time. Honestly, I, I, like do, I, I don't think... Yeah, I, I will say this. You'll have to roll to find it, but there's people... You don't have to worry about people running in your way or anything, so it's going to be a much easier task for you to find. Yeah. It. Plus, yeah, yeah so... Uh, do the same thing. Give me a roll. Add your dex and all that. Okay. Um, are you going to still give me the four for tracking, or yes. would you like... No, no, no. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. You can get the four for tracking. Boom. Okay. Uh, I will say you find the the cache of weapons, so you get over there and you're getting your weapons. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, Cole, what do you want to do? Um, I've been staring at this orc from across the room, so I know generally where he is. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> um, I'm going to, um... Mm -hmm. Bolt in that bolt. Going to do a, a a jog in that direction. Okay. Uh, I don't think you need to roll for that. You're not actually searching for anything, so you're just kind of going towards him. Um, How far would you want me? <laughs> I will say here. And uh, I'm going to say it's not that hard for you because you hear an orc roaring and kind of charging your direction too. It seems you oh guys are boy. of similar mindsets. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> um, Pearson, your turn. Or what would you like to do? Uh, uh, what I'd like to do is pretty simple. Mm -hmm. Go uh, go towards Finn, have my back against him. Her. Her, mm -hmm. I guess. It is. Uh, whatever. We'll, we'll figure this out after. <laughs> we, have a, we have a long fucking talk. <laughs> but uh, Pearson's going to just have his back to Finn, mm -hmm. and he's going to mutter to her and say... When the lights go up, we fight back to back. 
first we kill, then we're having a long fucking talk. Vince and that's my gonna, turn for In the Vince, Dark. Vince was going to say I'm sorry. It's really Vince. weakly under her breath. It's fine. All right. Um, okay, so we'll say the lights come back on. Um, and we the the only ones that have moved honestly is the orc because the orc was just waiting for some mm. excuse. Uh, the others are kind of shocked by all this uh, when the globe of darkness disappears again uh, when they see what happens. So now we'll just do turn starts now initiative starting okay. now. So the twins are going first. The twins are they see the orcs running towards each other. They want no part of that. <laughs> and as one, they move towards Keen and move to attack. Now, um, Keen. Just so you understand, a bit of flavor text, they are fighting as one unit. In other words, these two twins are tumbling around you and attacking almost as if one. So you're going to treat them as one creature with two attacks. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay. So they are going to roll to hit you. Mm-hmm. Uh, da, 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 da. All right. That's one nope. attack? Nope. That's two. Oh, wow. Okay. Nope. Uh, one of them trips and falls away from you so that for the next turn they'll only get one attack. But, yeah, well, you know, you managed to dodge both of them. Nicely done. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, that's the twin's turn. It is now Pearson's turn. <clears throat> what do we do? What do we do? Well... Sorry, it's just a quick... I'm just trying to decide because I want to work with Finn here. But the problem is, is that that's... By the sounds of it, it was her friend or her old friend. Fuck it! Uh, we gotta use it because I have a higher initiative. Mm -hmm. uh, Cullimore is going to move over to uh, the bitch. I'm just going to call her for now. Mm -hmm. I know <laughs> she has a name, Follette, but she's more like bitch face Follette. Anyway... Uh, and I'm going to be doing an attack. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be doing, uh, giving her the old Stonebridge Shuffle, which is just the jab attack. Okay. Uh, what he's going to do, it's very simple. It's just going to be a sharp punch to the eye, like a jab to her eye, mm -hmm. just to do damage, just for the sake of flavor. Uh, and because my initiative is before hers, I get to add in my sneak attack for just this attack only. Correct. So, uh, I am going to roll to hit, first of all, I guess, eh? Yes. Don't you know? So, let me just double check my two hit bonus, which is a measly two plus five. She, she's not staggered, is she? No, she's not staggered. Okay, that's fine. Ah, I got 20. Wow. Uh, not enough to hit her, actually. You just what? barely miss her. What? Yep. Ah, shit. Yeah, you, you, she, oh, okay. she, she does seem a little surprised at your speed. Uh, it, like yeah. she's not used to that kind of well, I'm, speed. Well, I'm yeah. motherfucker calling more. Yeah, uh, but you, ju she just barely ducks out of your way. Okay, all right. Well, she wins that round. All right, that's my action. All right. Um, then it is Bruiser's turn. Bruiser is going to charge straight for Cole with uh, that wicked looking knife and almost crash into him while trying to attack. So he's basically just going to attack you, roaring like crazy. And Bruiser has gone into a uh, Barbarian Rage, which basically gives him two attack rolls and he can choose the higher one. Only one attack, but two rolls for that one attack. So... Um, okay, so 14 and 8 plus 5. So are either of those enough to hit you? Yep. Alright, so the one hits you and you take 10 damage. Oh, gee. <laughs> oh. Alright. Uh, it is now Follette's turn. Ooh. Follette is driven by rage. So she is going to not even try to disengage. She's going to kind of uh, sneer at you and run straight for Finn. So you get an attack of opportunity. Sweet! Uh, now, when I do my forms... So mm -hmm. my attack of opportunity is just a, my standard attack. Standard right? melee does not count as your forms. Uh, right, you can, you, it doesn't break your form up either, though. Yeah, so. I know. Okay, so let's see if I roll higher than a 16. 
Oh, wow. <laughs> nice. You do get oh, her on that one. on fire tonight. Yeah, you get her on that one. Sweet. How much? Uh, roll your damage, sir. Yes, I will. I guess I can't add my sneak attack, which sucks. But that's hmm. okay. 2d8 plus 3 will do. Give me a second. Roll 2d8 plus 3. Woo! 15! Now I got my jab uh -huh. in. Nice. Okay. Um... I'll crack her around the side of the head if she thinks she's... Yeah, uh, she she stumbles a little bit, not expecting to get hit again. Um, but she continues powers on and goes to attack Finn with uh, two daggers. And um, she is going to... She has double attack, kind of like you, Finn, where mm. if she rolls natural even, she can attack twice. Mm. So... Uh, <laughs> Say I'm making a ranger. What should I have with them? <laughs> Hmm, a ranger, you say? <laughs> uh, 16, but it is an average. I don't think that's enough high enough to hit you, right? What's your AC? It's 15. It, it's high enough. Oh, okay. Uh, and she did get a natural, so she can roll again. Uh, that one tie goes to the attacker, so she does hit you twice. Okay. But, but only for... Um, so a total of 12 damage. Oh, okay. So that's... Screaming in rage as she does it. She mm. is, like, really venomous. Hmm. Not a uh, happy person at the moment. So it is Keen's turn. <clears throat> Quick action. Yes. To pick up my bow. Mm -hmm. Um, I am going to give these guys an opportunity to attack while I move away. Okay. So go ahead and resolve that. All right. Uh, what we'll oh. say is because of that one, we'll get just the one opportunity attack. That'll be the one attack. Mm -hmm. Um. After yeah, this yeah. combat, I just noticed that the dark elf didn't roll initiative. And he might play an important part in this. Uh, yeah, he should roll initiative, shouldn't he? Yes. Okay. Uh, you're absolutely right. I'll, let you, I'll let you resolve what you did, but I'll just put him at the end of the order. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was hoping he'd get before violent. <laughs> yeah. So, you know. Uh, okay. You know what? Yeah. Since it was my mistake, I will let you guys. Uh, I will. I will let that happen. Uh, the twenty should be enough to hit you, so you take yes. six damage. All right. I will All right, take. Uh, six let me go ahead and roll him his initiative. Uh, <clears throat> da, 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 19. So he will go after Keen this turn, and then after that he will be 19 each time. Whoops, 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 whoops. All right, so hang on. We'll just call him Elf. Racist. And he has a 19. Oh, okay, that works too. Sweet. And we'll just do Descending again. Okay. Um... I'm able to get that far, correct? From here to here? Yes, how is... I'm confused. Um, okay, you were above Finn for some reason, so we'll just keep you there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're able to get that far. Okay, um, I'm going to shoot at uh, Filet. Okay. Filet-o-fish. Okay, so let's attack. 25 Ooh, versus wow. AC. She is now blinded, and she takes 20 damage. Okay. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Snap. All right. Next. Fuck you, filet -O fish mm -hmm. uh, Is uh, the Dark Elf's turn. The Dark Elf is actually going to uh, try uh, and attack the twins. Oh, okay. Um, that works too. We're just going to say they engage each other. Uh, oh, let's see. Um, because he's an NPC, so I don't really have... Yeah, okay. fuck it. We'll do the, yeah, they're, they're engaging it. each other at the moment. Um, so then it is now Finn's turn. Great. Um, okay, two questions. Mm -hmm. uh, the knife I had earlier, where did it Would have fall? been shaken out of your hand when yeah. you attacked the first time. So. Yeah. yeah, did it fall? Where did it fall? It would be around there, I suppose. You can try to look for it, but you would draw an attack of opportunity. Um, okay, second question. Did I see where she put the the jewel? Yes, in uh, the pouch on her belt, you know exactly where she put it. I'm gonna try and grab at it. Okay. Um, do a roll to hit. We'll do that. Okay. And, oh, and then shit. we'll say that you're trying to get the pouch, so... Okay, so the roll to hit is my, my level plus my dex... And 20. and then, do we? What's the escalation? Zero. So just that. Zero. Yeah. Still zero. Eighteen. All right. Um. 
Here's what I'm going to do. Give me a second. Because this is not a normal attack, and it's certainly not what she would be expecting. Hmm. So... Okay. Oh. Okay. Um, she is completely caught off guard by the fact that you're just grabbing at a pouch on her belt. And I will mm-hmm. say that because she is so flat footed by that, you, and we'll say also because she's just been hit really hard twice, uh, you managed to pull the pouch off. Yeah. <gasps> I'm going to shout, stand down. Okay. Um, that is your turn. Anything else? Nope, that's it. All right, it is now Violet's turn. Violet is going to attack Pearson and hey! say, "And say, hey. come play with me, little man." <laughs> <laughs> I'm not little. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. Nineteen. Is that enough to hit you? Oh yeah. She uh, whips you for nine damage. Oh, wow. Buy me dinner first, baby. <sighs> All right. All right, and now it is Cole's turn. Brother! And I'm going to <laughs> grab him. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! Okay. What is happening? <laughs> um, going to D20 plus... Um, is this one? Wow, that's a hit. <laughs> All right. Um, now where to throw? Where to throw? Uh, there seems to be a weird-looking whip lady in front of me. Yes, <laughs> there does seem to be a weird-looking whip lady in front of you. She's a good target. I'm I'm pro throwing it at whip bitch. <laughs> Let's throw orc at whip lady. <laughs> All right then. Uh, okay, and I need to make a hit towards whip lady. So that's gonna be yeah. So her AC. Uh, modifier of zero. Uh, <laughs> okay, that's definitely a hit. And so they both take 15 damage. Nicely done. And they, they, uh, <laughs> the giant orc roars in rage as he is flung into the whip lady, and the whip lady is gonna make some other sarcastic comment to Pearson when she is slammed from behind <laughs> by a giant orc. <laughs> okay. It's what she always wanted. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Yeah, My character is like going it. to lean back and roar in triumph. <laughs> yeah, cool. All right. Now you're doing what you were born to do. Okay, uh, escalation die is one. You guys certainly kicked ass that turn. So it is time for the twins. The twins are um, engage each other. <laughs> the twins going to do? <laughs> <Engage> each other. <laughs> The twins They're are going to, uh, 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 they, they see that their leader is being attacked, so they're going to try and roll a disengage from the Dark Elf. And they get it, and they are going to attack Keen again. All right. And it is going to be two attacks, so hold on a second. I'll just two d20 plus five. That's, neither of those are going to hit, I assume. Oh, yeah. Yeah, those They're are two misses. Hit. Those are two misses. Even in um, combination. Are, are you dropping the lowest one on that, King? Or um. Why squeak? would I drop the lowest one on that? Okay, I I wasn't sure if you were adding no. them together or dropping. No, 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 no. Those are two separate attacks. Oh, okay. So okay. you add the plus five to both of those. So that's actually a five and an eight. But n- still, yeah. neither of them are good enough to hit you. Yeah. All right. Uh, that's their turn. Pearson, it's your turn. <clears throat> All right. Um, Pearson's gonna say. Well, now that the that, now that. Uh, Violet is engaged with Orc. Um, and now, mm, she's, still, she's still she's still engaged by, with you, though. I know, yeah. I know, but she was hit by an Orc. So. Right. Anyway, um, but Pearson, he would have seen uh, Finn grab that bag, right? Correct. Okay, he knows exactly what's in that bag. So, well, first things first, let's just do the punch anyway, because Pearson would hit them regardless. <laughs> so, I'm going to do a, I'm actually changing my form, I'm starting back at a jab, I'm mm-hmm. picking on the, I'm, I'm switching to my pick on someone your own size form, mm-hmm. and if I hit, then one of my allies, which will be Finn, will be able to disengage as a free action. Uh, actually, before you do that, though, here's the uh, problem. She disengaged, I know you look like you're really close together, but she disengaged with you. And you have not moved to re-engage her, and you are engaged. So you, you unless you 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 disengage from uh, Violet, she's technically not close enough for you to hit. 
Because she disengaged with you and took that attack Whatever. opportunity. Okay. Yeah. All right. Then I'm gonna just keep my form. Then. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. No. I'm gonna just say, uh, Violet. I know you probably can't see. No. I'm gonna just say, when I said the gem would kill you when you used it, I lied. And uh, fuck it. Finn said everyone stop, and mm. Pearson's gonna say that because. I'm not wasting my 19 that I rolled, so there we go. I'm good. All right, then. All right. Uh, then it is now the elf's turn. <laughs> the elf is uh, going to be a little upset and uh, charge to try and help King with the halflings. Uh, and he's going to... We'll actually have him attack because now this is an engagement between them and Keen, and So we'll actually have him roll to hit. That is, oh my god, he, the poor, he does nothing. He, <laughs> yeah, loses a knife or something. So yes, uh, it is now Bruiser's turn. Bruiser uh, picks himself off the floor, screams at even more rage, and um, literally throws himself at Cole in a body check. And we're going to use this basically just as a weapon. Like he's just trying to club you with his body. All right. Um, so we're going to do a roll to hit. Uh, da, 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 da. Is that enough to hit you, 13? No. <laughs> then he actually misses you and kind of slides I, past I you. I dust to the side yeah. and flies across. <laughs> <laughs> you suck at so being an orc orc. Um, I didn't give him two attacks on that one despite his barbarian rage because you can't throw your body twice. It's not really something you can do. Um, so that is Bruiser's turn. It is now Fillette's turn. Follette screams in rage and uh, looks rather hurt and um, teleports to here and uh, screams at Finn maybe I'll find your uncle and finish the job unless you're strong enough or unless you're brave enough to come face me and then starts running out the door um okay <laughs> what? There, there's, is um, there any checks or anything? She's a high elf. She can teleport to anywhere she can see. That's but an innate blind. ability for high elves. Oh. But she's blind. Uh, yes, but it's an innate ability for high elves. I, I mean, I don't. I, I understand what you're saying. There's no mechanic for that though. The blinds are only for saves and attacks. Okay. Yeah. There's, there's. It's just an innate ability. I, I wouldn't even know how to roll for that. All right. So, um, if you guys think I can try and roll something, but I'm not sure what I would roll exactly. No, no, it's fine. Just I don't over. think it's a roll. It's I, I I see blind as more of like a. It's really hard to see. Right. All right. But, um. So yeah, yeah, she's there, and it's your turn, King. Okay, I'll just shoot these jokers that are next to me. All right. Uh, modifier one. Uh, I don't think that will hit. Uh, the joke's next to you. No, no, it will not. Yep. Uh, they take, uh, five missed damage. Oh, or, uh, uh, five missed damage? Yeah, because of my feet. Yes, your feet. Thank you for reminding me about that. Mm -hmm. Okay. I forgot. Yeah. Yeah. All right, um, that is your turn. Finn. Your turn. Okay. Now that I'm not engaged, do I see the knife? Yes, you see the knife. Finn's going to pick up the knife and then teleport next to um, Follette okay. and uh, strike her with it. Okay. Uh, should I roll a D? Uh, uh, a D just, your, your, your normal, your normal D20. D20 uh, to hit plus... All your normal attacks and your damage will be, I believe, a D8 instead of a D6. Okay, that okay, that's that's good. And then we're at escalation one. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, that's not enough. No. But <clears throat> she's just gonna do a quick action and say, "This fight is between you and me," and that's it, I guess. All right. Uh, to answer the question in chat. 
she blind doesn't mean they can't see anything at all. Otherwise, it would be much more than a minus four penalty. It means it's hard for them to see, but it's not hard for a high elf to see an entire balcony. And since it's an innate ability, I don't think it would be that hard for her, even with the penalty, to teleport. Yeah. Um, okay, uh, that is not quite a hit, no. No. All right, uh, it's Violet's turn. Violet is <laughs> unceremoniously going to pick herself up and continue attacking Pearson. Uh -huh. Let's see here. Does her standing up draw an attack of opportunity? Does it? Uh, sure. I think it okay. would. Yeah, no, 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 right. no. It makes perfect sense that it would. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to punch. Oh, never mind. I got 12. All right. All right. Um, Do yours. Oh, man. She's so dead. I gave her so many chances. Now. You did. Oh, you I'm wonder gonna mess, a lot. I'm going to mess up her pretty face. Oh, it's going to be awful. Ah, nope. That's a miss with her whip. Good. Oh, does she take uh, miss damage? Miss From me, uh, on an attack of opportunity, yeah, I guess it's my level, wouldn't it be? So yeah, two? it would be. <clears throat> It'd be two. So two. Okay. Thank you. I do keep forgetting the miss damage. All right. Uh, it is now Cole's turn. I'm gonna try to disengage. What's the rule for that? Just uh, roll an eleven or higher. Oh right, okay. Nope. All right. I. <laughs> uh. So I failed to disengage. I have almost nothing to do. Uh, okay. Um. You know what? I'm going to uh, point at him, stick my hand out to the side, and create an item. <laughs> nice. Roll. B20, be, let it be the imp. Yes, let it be the imp. It's an 18. 18. <laughs> Hang on, have you ever rolled an 18 before? You have rolled an 18 before. Is it the buzz saw? A saw blade <laughs> appears oh, in your boy. head. This guy's fucked. <laughs> um, I'm going to roll a singular throw, so okay. it's going to be powered by yes, that. It will. Uh, it is a plus two to hit, and uh, add four to your damage roll, if you hit. Alright, you're just gonna have to add this on post. Alright. Oh wait, no, no, I can add that, I can add the the plus to hit, so that was plus two, right? Uh, plus two to hit, yes. Wow, that certainly hits. And uh, and whatever be... plus for damage. So, you added your strength for the damage and all that, so it's gonna be plus four to damage, so that's fourteen to him. Mm -hmm. Alright. He is staggered, just barely. Alright. Alright. Uh, escalation die goes to two. I, w I will also have to make sure of this. Uh, when I pointed at him, mm -hmm. that was actually my ability. Right, which means you're critical. Yes, but that didn't happen at this one. Okay. But I, I see what you say. It's 18 or more, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I, I'm, I'm right on. Okay. All right. There you go. So any time, any other attacks from now on, 18 or more will hit. So we go back up to the twins. I will say, because it's either they, they draw attacks of opportunity from one of you, or I would say in this situation, they're actually going to only attack Keen once, and the other one's going to fend off the Dark Elf so they don't draw an attack of opportunity. <laughs> I think it's a fair thing to do. So roll to hit Keen. That's a no. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pearson. Uh, I'm going to continue my form uh, to switch it up into a punch. Uh, although, it's not going to be really a punch. She looks like she's into kink. Uh, Pearson's going to oblige her and actually start to bring his hand out, and his attack is going to try to be a choking attack. Clearly, he's not going to choke her and snap her neck in one attack, but it's going to start doing some damage to her windpipe or something like that, if I hit. Fair okay. enough? Mm -hmm. This is all just I'm rolling damage, I'm right. just making it flavorful. Uh, never mind. That's uh, not enough to hit her. I don't think a 9 is no. enough to hit, no. Nine's not uh, enough. What's your miss damage? Hit the oh, uh, oh, oh! I might have gotten... Uh, my miss damage might be half my damage. Is it? Yep, a... miss is half damage! Nice. Alright, so... Sweet. Hey, so I still... I just don't get a really good grip on her. So and I roll still damage and just uh, we'll half it, yeah. Yeah. All right, seven damage. Nice. nice. Okay. Damn. Yeah. She is uh, staggered. Oh, she's staggered? Yeah. Oh, sweet. 
right. She's squishy. She fucked. Oh, sweet. Good. All right, the dark elf is going to attack the uh, halflings dead. again. Uh, that is not enough to hit. <laughs> okay. Uh, Bruiser's turn. Bruiser, um, he's in a blind rage. He's going to actually, yeah, I will say this. Uh, he's actually going to grab the buzzsaw that you threw into him and attack you with it. But by grabbing it, it will get him, I'll say, two points of damage. But he don't care. Because he's in a rage. All right. Um, so... Uh, that's a 14 and a 17, both plus 5. I think both of those would hit. Well, well one of them. Just one of them hits. Yeah. Um, so that is going to be 10 damage. All right, then. All right. Now it's Fillette's turn. Fillette is uh, going to laugh mockingly at you, Finn, and uh, run down the hallway drawing an attack of opportunity. I will do so. Oh, hang on a second. Let me uh, reveal the area. <laughs> yeah, she's busting open the door. Yeah, uh, <laughs> like, dark. I can see it. Darkness. You guys can't. Hang on. There you go. Darkness. Darkness. Darkness and lightness and darkness. Go stab her to death, Finn. So do I have to roll to hit, then, for the attack of opportunity? Correct. Just roll okay. a basic melee attack. Okay, and then that's plus one, because we... With the escalation. Plus two, actually. Oh, but I already had the one on. The oh, I see, map. I see, I see, yeah. Map. Oh, not enough to hit. Oh, god damn. She so is a nimbly bimbly elf. Mm. All right, uh, and she continues running down the hallway. Uh, she's doing a double movement, so she is booking it. <sighs> and she turns Wait. the corner like that. All right. It is Keen's turn. Well, um, I'm just going to try and plink into these guys again. Okay. It's 18 versus 18. No, not quite enough to hit. Yep. So five more miss damage. All right. Okay, these guys are squishy enough that your miss damage is still, <laughs> still doing quite a bit of damage to them. They are staggered. Wow, so I could have one-shot them? <laughs> you could have, theoretically. They're halflings, dude. They're not, yeah. They're Racist! Not gonna be... <laughs> Wow. Uh, let's, get, let's get going. Racist. They're not even a full person. I mean, Finn, it is your turn. Not a full okay, person. how 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 far can I make it? Um, just booking it after her. You 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 would have to since she's double moving. You'll have to double move to keep up with her. So you okay. won't be able to attack her with your dagger, but you'll be able okay, to keep up with her. That's fine. Uh, where should I move then? How? Like, uh, just move behind her. You're, you're, okay. you're on her heels, basically. Okay. All right, uh, Violet's turn. Violet is uh, going to whip at Pearson again. Huh? Uh, not two dice, please. Miss. Wow, she sucks at close quarters with a whip, I guess. Oh, I'll teach her. I'll teach her. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds horrible. With my fist. Cole, it's your turn. I'm going to try to disengage again. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> Tens are killing me. Yeah. Ooh. You know what? I'm just going to take an attack of opportunity. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think attack of opportunity doesn't really count Barbarian Rage. So it's just going to be one attack. Uh, 18. And that hits. Alright, that's 10 damage. How low are you? Pretty darn low. <laughs> mm. okay. You do have a healing potion, correct? I do. Okay. Uh, you took your movement, you can still do an action. Alright, let's see. That is a fact. Alright, um, he's... Uh, he knows no fear. He's going to take the table and give it a good old discus toss with two arms at the the, um, the orc over here. All right, Bruiser. Bruiser. 
We'll call him Ugg Thumb because that's a now now that's the the noise he's gonna make when you throw the temple. I did table. sixteen damage yeah, and rolled did. an even. <laughs> yes, you did. Throw right. a chair at him. I'm gonna be reaching over to the chair and gonna be throwing that at him. <laughs> All right. Fourteen damage. <laughs> I think he's down. Bruiser is dead. <laughs> well Yay! done. Yay! Bruiser is down. Well done. Dead. And that is escalation of three now. Sexy. All right. Um, but -dum, -ba -dum, -ba dum It is the twins' turn. Uh, let's see. Bruiser is down. Their leader has run. I think they're gonna try and book it. All right. Uh, they're gonna draw attacks of opportunity from both of you. All right. So I'm gonna draw attack for the dark elf. That is not a hit. Keen. That is not a hit. Five missed damage. Alrighty. Uh, no. And they are going to uh, try and book it out the way they came. So they'll do a double movement to about here. We'll say that's double movement. And that's their turn. Pearson, your turn. Uh, I'm going to roll a hit first, and depending on how well I do, I'm mm -hmm. going to roll damage, and depending on how well that is, then I'll tell you exactly what I do. If that works. Got it. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Okay. Because she's staggered, so I get plus two to hit, so I'm plus ten to hit, and I got a... Oh, I was one away from critically hitting, but I hit. Yes, you did. Which is great. So now I'm going to roll 2d10 plus 3 and see how well this gets me. Aw, oh, eight damage. Really? Lame. Okay. Well, I, what I wanted to do is Cullimore was going to get, because he couldn't really get much of a grip with one fist. Mm -hmm. He's trying to get both his hands and press his thumbs against their windpipe. Okay. Uh, here's I what I will say what happened. Started. Because yeah. you hit, you didn't get quite the grip you wanted, but yeah. she is starting to um, choke a little bit like she's having trouble breathing. All right, you we'll you didn't crush the windpipe, but you did close it off enough for a long yeah. enough period of time that she's trying to suck in air. Okay. So, okay, and she's down to... Okay. Ah, oh, damn it. The elf... Three and a two on a D10. I know. Name. Uh, the elf, seeing that they're booking it, is going to, uh, come try and help you. So oh, he's okay. going to... Yeah, get that sneak attack damage. The next one, if she makes That's it. That's a hit. That's certainly a hit. Um, I'm going to give him... We'll say he does nine points of damage. I, didn't, I don't know why. I never even considered him as a combatant, so I didn't... Do it on the fly! Mm. She looks really injured. Between your windpipe, your choking and his slashing, she is not doing well. All right, it is uh, no Bruiser's dead. It is not Bruiser's turn. It will never be no. Bruiser's turn again. <laughs> again. <laughs> It'll never be Bruiser's turn again. So here's what's going to happen. Um, Fillette is going to continue running. Hang on, I'm going to reveal more area. Um, she is going to draw an attack of opportunity from you again because you were able to get on her heels. Um, yes. There is a, call it fate, a wood elf servant right, hang on, let me actually scroll down to where I can click so you can see. There is a window right here. Okay. And a wood elf right here, uh, who was just walking down the hall doing her servant hey, duties. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> um, do your attack of opportunity first. Okay. Because it might just be enough. Wow. Ooh. Well done. You do hit her. Uh, roll damage. Yes. 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 Wait. Now I can't remember how to roll damage. <laughs> <laughs> it's just one D. It should be two. Oh, oh that's two. right. No, no, hang on. Let me get my sheet. It is because I'm doing the bigger one, right? The, mm -hmm. just uh, the right, because you just have the dagger. You're doing 2D8, two D8, yes. 2D8. Two, two yep. Okay, cool. Plus your dexterity. Plus four, okay. Two D eight plus four. Oh, so close. You're so close. Oh, don't say stuff like me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Then okay. have a wound her or something. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It, so no, it, it is. Um, you slash her um, across her face. 
Ooh. and open a giant gash from her left eye all the way down to her chin. Mm. Yeah. Um, and she's still running, and she looks really hurt. And uh, in her kind of blind terror to get away, because she looks really scared now, she actually crashes into the wood elf and, and grabs her, and they both crash out the window onto, like, a, a patio. Mm. And um, she does that, and then uh, basically puts the knife around the wood elf's throat and screams for you to stop. Which is kind of, uh, the noise, the, the vo- sound of her voice is kind of wrong, because she's having trouble forming words because you slashed her face. Hmm. And that is her turn. And it is Keaton's turn. Okay, I would like to double move. Okay. Um, I'm going to start running up the stairs. Mm-hmm. I want to get to about here-ish. Okay. That's possible. Yes. All right. Would I be able to pass a healing potion to Cole on the way? I if Cole's receptive, reaction. I would allow that. I'd call that a free action. Just kind of pass it. All right, I will do that. Then I'll head up. Because sure. you look very injured. All right. And that is my turn. Okay. Finn, it's your turn. Okay. Um, let me just do a little bit of math here. Okay, that's quite far. Uh, how far could I go up so I could still you, do an actually, action? Actually, that, um, you could get almost to there. It wasn't quite a double movement for her, so it wouldn't be for you. You can get oh. a, a basically as close as you want to get. Okay. And then Finn's going to throw the knife at her. Uh, okay. She, you do, uh, just so you're aware, she is holding a wood elf in front of her as a hostage with a knife to her throat, so you have a chance of hitting the wood elf as well. You yeah, still I don't it. think Finn, I don't think Finn's gonna be thinking. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Reacting. Not what thinking. is your? Yeah. We will count that as a ranged attack. Throw your yep. ranged attack. Okay, so ranged. So come that's on a, that twenty. Come on, D twenty plus dexterity. My level, escalation. I think that's it. Just three now. Okay, come on. Oh wait, that's you can not do a it. Ooh, damn. Ouch. Nope. Um, right, right. Now, fifty-fifty chance of missing or hitting the person. Correct. No, actually, mm, no. I wouldn't say fifty-fifty. Let's say roll me a percentage and get above thirty percent, because y- you are fairly close. She is rather battered. Okay. Okay, oh. you rolled above thirty. You so it, did. it missed. <laughs> um, <laughs> Wow, rolling 100 on D100 is very rare. That's very good. Yeah, it is. Okay. Um... No, no, don't do anything special. It was just an observation. No, 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 no. Here's the issue. I don't... Okay, I'm going to have to make a judgment call on this one. She has two hit points left. Normally, miss damage does, for Finn, does two. But oh. the idea of miss damage is that the even though the attack missed the the Their psyche, sources. the physical aspect of it or whatever, is still going to wear on you. But I don't think it's enough to the miss damage should kill something. Uh, okay. Yeah. I don't, I'm curious idea. how you guys think. Yeah. Uh, my perspective is is that you're right. It shouldn't kill them. Mm-hmm. But let's just say the wound happens or like the elf bucks back her head and the hair gets into the gashing wound. And it just causes so much pain, it disables her for a moment to not run or be able to think like that. You know what I mean? Like she. Yeah, you know what? That's, she's a, that's, like a, that's a good idea. Here, here's what we'll do. Um, when she dodged to the side, she actually. We'll just do it this way. She dodged to the side with the elf to dodge your knife. Mm-hmm. And um, so she is kind of prone on the ground. Um, that's what we'll do. She is on the ground, on her back, holding the wood elf above her. So she can't, she's not going anywhere, basically. Not in time. Mm. Um, she's still got the knife to the wood elf's throat, but she is really injured. She is really hurting. And she's laying there. Mm. So basically, yeah. Th- I think that's a fair thing. Your, your miss damage should be enough to at least stop her from, from going anywhere. I think okay. that is a great way to do it. Yeah. Um, and it is now uh, Keaton's right, let's... turn. Oh, yeah. What? Your turn. I was before her. 
Well, yes. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, it's, it's Violet's turn. That was it's Violet's turn. I'm sorry. I saw the voluptuous token, and I thought to myself, Burn hey, Raider. Hey, 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 <laughs> Let's go. Hey. Okay, One yes, step. yes, yes. Inferno sleepy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hang on. We're almost, yeah. we're almost to the... Uh, is that enough to hit you? I think it is. Me? Yes. That's, That's going to be nine fine. damage to you. That's fine. Oh, she messed with the wrong guy. All right. All right. It is now Cole's turn. Boop. Go throw a table at this thing. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. Do it. Do it. Three. Not enough to hit. They will take uh, how much missed damage? Two. Two. I rolled an even, either. so a chair is coming at them. <laughs> Go for it. Three. That's still not enough to hit, oh. but that's still two more missed damage. That's another two more. <laughs> All right. Tables and chairs flying past your face. <laughs> <laughs> Crashing into everything. All right, Escalation die is up to four. It is the twins' turn again. They are booking it out the door. All right. Okay. Um, it is now Pearson's turn. All right. Pearson's going to try again. Try and just keep doing the same thing. Going for the uh, windpipe. Yeah, Got going it. for the windpipe. Uh, oh, yeah. 23. Wow. Okay, great. So I'm going to roll... Uh, I'm just going to make it a standard attack because, mm -hmm. you know, I did my kick attack. So instead of doing a jab, I just really wanted to, to do just my standard attack. But it's still just windpipe, really, is what it is. Ten damage. Uh, okay. You crush her throat and Ooh. she falls to the ground. Is she dead? Gagging. Yes. What I'd oh, what I'd really like to do is actually mm -hmm. like crush her windpipe, and as she's gagging, have just one hand around her throat, and have the one other one go to the side of her head and jam her head off to the left so violently that it snaps her neck. Okay, uh, it's done. And in fact, the violence of the action actually yeah. causes the dark elf, the drow, to step back a bit. Yeah, you should. Yeah. I warned her, and I'm the fucking bone splitter. A neck is a bone. It is a bone. All right. All right. Uh, and that was his action. He steps back a bit. Uh, Bruiser's yeah. dead. Uh, Follette. Okay. So it's Follette's turn. Um, well, she's kind of... This is kind of an out of combat. In fact, actually, I think we can say, unless you guys are continuing to chase the halfling, we are out of combat. I'm leaving uh, the halfling. I'm going to try and... Yeah, I'm more worried about Finn, Finn at this point. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Cole? I am actually going to take one of the still standing seats and going to actually, um, I'm not even sure exactly what the heck this action is, but I'm going to take my, um, recovery rolls. Okay. Um, then, yeah, it basically you, you, you find something deep inside you to keep you going and you can take your recovery roll. Right. Which shouldn't be that hard. You just killed an orc barbarian in single combat, basically. That's, that's, <laughs> mm -hmm. that's, a, that's, a, that's a hell of a boost, I think. Okay. Um, but so, is it fair enough that we run up to try to get to Finn, whoever the, whoever is interested in, yes, right? Yes, I would say whoever's okay. interested, you can get to Finn. It's going to take you about maybe 30 seconds or so. Sure. And in um, those 30 seconds, of course, Finn can I, do whatever she wants. I was um, gonna say, mm -hmm. can I pull the wood elf off of her? Uh, she, if you get towards her, okay. Here's what's gonna happen: as you go towards her, she will smile sickly at you and say, "Looks like you failed to save another one." And we'll draw the knife across the wood elf's throat, and then we'll just sit there and drop the knife, and then just look at you. She, Finn, is gonna walk over, pick up the knife. And go on, like, over Follette. And as she's going down, just jam the knife into her heart and just whisper, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, over and over again. Oh. Okay. So I'm assuming we've found the corner, corner just enough time to see yeah. that. To see, to see that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Probably not hear the I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but no. to see that. Okay. Finn's just hunched over her right now, still whispering. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Calamore is gonna let her let her deal with this. This is this is important for her, so he's not gonna be like, oh, it's time to go or anything like that. <laughs> so he's just gonna he's gonna just hang back and 
see if she does anything else other than the, the whispering and the stabbing. Um, so where are we right now? We're on a balcony? Yes. Or is this like, how... Is there any way to jump off? <laughs> yeah, there is a way to jump off. There's plenty of rooftops around and stuff. Finn's gonna jump off and run away. Uh, Finn? Okay, wait. Dude. Fuck. Okay. Yeah, well, let him go. I'm sure. I mean, I'm sure Her. she'll. Yeah. I'm sure she'll come talk to us when she's ready. We got a bunch of nobles to talk to. And the Cullimore, for the first time, <laughs> smiles when he says the word noble. Oh, no. <laughs> Keen's going to go over I and guess... pick up his dagger. All right. I'm going to head on down. This is going to be great. Oh, this is so <laughs> worth staying up for. <laughs> oh, cathartic. Because I just realized all those fuckers, including the Baroness, just saw Cullimore snap a woman's neck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. It's true. And there's the drow there. He's kind of, uh, the drow is standing there. He's, uh, he's actually put his weapons down on the ground and stepped mm -hmm. away from them. And he's standing there with his arms upraised and not quite sure what to do from here. Cullimore will point to him and says, when everyone else leaves, you don't. You have a lot of explaining to do. But right now, we're not going to mess with you because you put up your end of the bargain. But you know something that we need to listen to. Got it? He, he nods and sits cross-legged and closes his eyes. Fair enough. And then Cullimore, body strewn about him, turns over to the, the nobles all hunched underneath the balcony there. And he gives a smile and he goes, Well, I'm sorry that your benefit didn't turn out how you wanted, and there were many sacrifices of many lives. Clearly, the authorities will be notified, and you can return in time to your wonderful, prissy lives. Let this be a lesson to you. No matter how rich you might be or powerful you might feel, death will come for everyone. Goodbye and have a great night. And with that, he will just step off to the side and gesture to the front of the front of the, the hallway for them to leave whenever they like. They're terrified. Some of them get Good. up and start going, others don't. And uh, the, the Baroness uh, gets up and she's wide-eyed and she goes, you... Get out of my house and take that thing with you, she points to the drow. I never want to see you again. Ah, oh, no, no secret romps in the garden. Oh, somehow I'll recover it, you stuck-up cunt. And then he'll leave oh, the drow. Jeez, wow. I dropped the C word. I dropped the C word, but he Damn. wanted to say it so bad. For the, for the show, just bleep me. Just bleep me. That's a, that's a hard C. Okay. That's I will bad. I will bleep you. I will bleep and, you. And the, the drow, but... Does Drow looks back and forth between you two, like not knowing what's going on, but just following you as you asked. Okay. We'll meet you guys outside. <laughs> oh man. So All right. Hey there, guy. He's he's gonna be uh He's going to inspect the 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 area of of uh, this. Um, sort of see like maybe how the 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 situation sort of unfolded. Um, he's going to turn to uh, Keen and uh, ask if he saw Finn. Yes, she jumped off the the balcony and ran off. And um, without actually asking which direction, he's going to actually s follow a small, um, probably a small blood trail that is most likely pointing in the way she dashed. <laughs> Wait, I'm going to give him another health potion. Okay. <laughs> For her! <laughs> Go on. <laughs> And I, I okay, <laughs> and I will go in that direction. Um, 
Should roll I... me a um, just a, 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 a tracking plus your level plus your dexterity. It's not going to be that hard of a roll. She is injured and leaving a blood trail. Twenty plus five plus three plus two. My five button doesn't work. Okay, we're going to say that you can um, basically track Finn until Finn eventually stops, and it's kind of going to be up to Kriana where that happens. Want to do another race, Kriana? <laughs> <laughs> not, not really t the time. <laughs> uh, Finn's going to just, I guess, jump down to some sort of secluded alleyway and just kind of curl up in like a little, I don't know, any sort of cove or like just hidden away and just do what she needs to do. Also, I should uh, point out that uh, as uh, Keen, as you're walking out, I assume you're walking out through the ballroom, mm -hmm. you do hear mutters of, uh, you know, oh, she's the one. I've heard about her. Oh, the High Elves were looking for her. I'm going to take out my bow and point them at the people. Enough prattling. Leave. She And the Baroness screams at you, no, you get out of my house! <laughs> I'm going to point it at her. <laughs> Whoa, shit. Wh okay. She's going to scream for guards. They're Do dead. it. <laughs> you, luckily, you have that letter right. with yeah. you. <laughs> Do, it. Do it. And uh, she'll enough keep screaming for guards. I'm, I'm going to yell, enough rumors, enough talking. This night is over. Leave. She, yeah, everyone starts, uh, I guess, going out the door. <laughs> the yeah, and as soon as they go, I will go. The guards are dead. I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> yep. Okay, then. I, I put and my you... away and Jen respectfully just leave. Yeah, I don't think there's anyone to really stop you. All the guards are in the West Wing. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. And that's how that goes. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Um, we can go ahead and stop there for the night, unless you guys want to uh, carry yeah. on with something. We're we can good. make this I think the that's end. That's a good place to stop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, I'm then. Good. Everyone, uh, thank you for the good session, and we'll see you next week. Woo! Yeah.